Hi folks, Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Here we are. My grandson's around somewhere. He gave me a little bit of help. Uh, flipping around, we're doing this continuation video. I don't know what number, four or five, who knows. All right, so we're gonna take this panel up. We've already loosened those bolts right there. Okay, and then in the back, on this side, if you see the small holes right there, one, two, three, four. My grandson was under there and undid those. So we're trying to take this panel off. Now what stops you is this. Here's the heater core, or the radiator actually. So what stops you is you have a bolt hole there and a bolt hole there. That's holding that. But it's got the little extensions on it. You see the little black extensions coming out right there. Put my finger on here, right there. That one. So we got one way down in there. So I'm gonna pop this loose and try to get this out. Okay. Now I've already taken most of this apart. So let me get this out of the way. All right. There you go. All right. So I got to undo this heater hose. What I do with these that are already crimped which I did right there. I'll show you what I do. I take a, a stout 90 degree. This is a, a uh, Matco, but you can get a Mayhew. And you see right here, see that little hole right there? I put it right in there, push it in there. Wiggle, 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 okay. You see it right there? And I push down in that hole. I keep going, so I'm going to put you on pause till I get a good bite. All right, what I had to do is just tap it in there with my hand. I just go back and forth, not too much. See how it's separating? There you go. It popped it. I grab it with the 90, pull, and off comes that clamp. All right. That's almost the same clamp you use on a PEX tubing. Now, what you do to get this hose, you push your hoses on and twist. All right, and... Pull. Once they come loose, you pull them up. All right, so that radiator is ready to come out. So I'm on this side. It's got the insulation. I got it loose here. I'm going to pop it here. And you got to tilt it out this way. All right, so I'm getting ready to do that. Go. Go. Welcome to RV Diagnostics. Welcome to... To... RV. RV Diagnostics. There you go. All right, so what we did is, remember I told you Isaiah helped me back here pull it and bolt to that panel. We just pulled this radiator. All right, so we're trying to get this whole inverter box out next. You got to be careful of these. Don't bend these. That's why I didn't have you around. All right. Um, it's all right. I'll straighten them up. So, what a lot of people don't know, there's a clean out on this diesel and some of your gases it's a carbon clean out and it looks like a pipe thing but i can't see it from here i guess i gotta get under there so this is your airflow right it all gets pulled through right there and the radiator sits right there there's your lower hose there's your upper hose all right remember there was two bolts holding it here one there one there one there and one there so that was the fun one actually to get. All right, right here. All right, now we're gonna go for, it's called the inverter converter controller, right here. We're trying to pull that out. So under, underneath is a T30. Um, here, go on. Watch that, Isaiah, let me get under here. All right, you got T30, and there's one, two, three, four. I already took them out, just to show you. But it's a T30, Torx 30. All right, it's one of these tools right here. All right. You can get fancy ones or a cheap set and go through a couple of them, or you can get good ones. All right, now, all right, so I need a cutter. I gotta get uh, this zip tie off of the air tube right there. That's an air tube, so I gotta cut that off. So I'm gonna put you on hold again. All right, let me see the, yep. All right, now, hold that light right there for me. All right, give me that screen over there. I gotta show the people how I took the screen off. 
All right, so remember the screen set right here. All right, just kind of like that right there. All right, so I took it down. There was T30s holding it there. Torx T30, Torx T30 there. Torx T30 right here. Where am I? There you are, right there and right there. Now, there's two T30s, one up here, one up here. This holds the, see the heat vents? That's where your heat dissipates when the generator's working and the air flows. Now watch, you take these two off, it whole thing moves. All right, so now we have a better chance of removing the inverter converter controller. All right, we gotta get that out. All right, folks, let me get off the floor. So, we gotta get that out to get the stator and rotor off. So we're getting there, all right? Here we go. All right, so that thing is loose now. Let's see, I won't we'll do that one. Bend my, all right, so. Can take this out? No, no, we're gonna leave that in. We just had to loosen it up to get it flexed. All right, that's your oil fill and oil checker, right there, oil level checker. Let's see. All right, I'm going to put it on hold. This whole component right here, here, over to here, I'll give you a, a, a bigger view. That whole box right there comes out. All right, folks, there's another. Where's my light man? Hey, put that flashlight down there, Isaiah. Help everybody. All right, now, I'll show you. There's a T30. Right there where that spot is. All right, so now we're gonna see how much this inverter converter place comes loose. So I'm gonna put you on hold, make sure I got every bolt out. All right, we're recording. I don't know why it's out of focus. Come on, folks, get into focus. All right, well, these are T30. This is holding the shield on, which is in the way of this. So we're getting ready to take this off. So, Isaiah's learned, one, you take your 90 degree, and you clean up the torque screws. All right, this one I loosened up all right. So you blow it, get that dirt out of there, so your uh, tool gets a better bite. All right, you get it down in there, make sure it's all the way, and you bip it. Like, just take the trigger and don't go in real fast. All right, so... You break it loose first. It's called, you might have to do it by hand. All right, Isaiah, where'd they go? Oh. Yep, T30s. All right, so we're getting there, slowly but surely. We got a bunch of tools around us. All right, so that's coming. Now we got a couple more. Yep, yeah, we gotta move that out of the way. Oh, that one. Mm-hmm. I'm going to PB blast these. These are held on by Allen's. All right, we're going to get that off. And then this comes off. It's about ready to come. Yep. All right, so we're close. I see something down here. All right. Let's see. Yep, something's holding it down there. So that's our coolant drain line. This hose goes to the bottom of the radiator that we took out. The radiator set right okay. here. All right, so I'm going to put you on pause. All right, so remember I was telling you how you decarbonize your mufflers? Remember the exhaust comes out here, goes into this one. Then it goes up to that one and out. Well, that's how you decarbonize. You take that, pull that out, and you blow all that stuff out of there. All right, you might think I'm kidding, but it does build up with soot. What's a diesel known for? Soot. And there's actually some on your gassers, your gas generators. So please look into that, especially the old ones that get all carboned up. Isaiah's going to take this apart for us. Go ahead, Isaiah. Get in there. All right, that's a combination boxed open end wrench, right? Six point. All right, young man. You get the front one. Right, you're tightening it. There you go. Lefty loosey. There you go. On 99% of your bolts. 
Now don't let nothing fall down in that hole, but you get there. All right, so while Isaiah's doing that, I'm going to go get the tool, the Allen, for this upper one so we can take this off so I can get this inverter box out, which is going to get us to the fan assembly next, then the stator and the rotor down in there. All right. Test not guess, right? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, now, what we did, we had Allen's. Four Allen screws up here, two nuts holding it down there. The Allen is a six millimeter, so you know which one to get. All right, Isaiah is going to remove the pipe. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put a rag right here so nothing goes down the exhaust and bends our valves. Go ahead and put it on the parts shelf. We have everything over there in the parts shelf the electronics. Now that's where the wrenches go, so you might want to put that over here. To your left on the bottom there you go all right so here we go we we'll get you back over here uh, we got to get a rag get that red rag shake it make sure nothing's in it put it in the ball like make a ball out of it you're gonna stick it in that hole that way we don't drop nothing down in there and then we start the engine it makes all that noise oh hold on yeah make it fit somehow you'll figure it out go ahead boy there you go. Fish it. Put it in there. Here. Um, Here. There you go. No, too big. There you go. Keep pushing it in there. We ain't gonna. That far. All right, that's good. All right, we gotta get it down. There you go. There we go. All right. All right. So I'm gonna put you on hold. We're gonna keep trying to get this thing off right here, which is get your wrenches out of the way. Big bound. All right. Show them where them bolts went. Where'd the bolts go? We go right here. Watch it, watch that radiator. Come on, show them where the bolts came out of. Where'd the bolts come out of? Out of show them. That. These two. That's right. Alright, so. Alright, put it up. Watch that radiator. Don't mess it up. Alright, so now we took this top pipe off. We took the bottom. We're gonna get this off this muffler and that'll give me a chance to put some pb blaster on that clean out um not too bad soot build up but it's got it in there all right so what we got is t30 torx again holding it on an isolator and that'll pull it out of there all right thank you very much jeff from rv diagnostics we're going to get this muffler out now all right, so folks, we took off the top pipe that came down here. We had a bottom pipe that went across. I'm going to show you where it's at. Yep, there's your top pipe. The bottom pipe is right there on the bottom. Here, Isaiah, tilt that back for me. Don't, okay. Don't let it fall on my foot. Keep it. Tilt it. All right. Um, that's the bottom pipe. we got to find that other bolt. Now, what they got... It's these rubber isolators. You don't have to take these two off. You take this one off with T30 torque and it slides out. Let me show you the pins. See, it slides out of these pins right here. Uh -huh. All right, and then there's your T30 torque. Oh, oh. hold on, we're gonna, we're gonna put that in the can there. That's all right, we'll leave the rubber on her. We'll probably get new rubber. She's 21 years old. Where's the can? What the, don't, oh, I got him. All right, young man, put that over there where the, the parts go. Oh, that's it. Yeah, watch your radiator. Now, here, that's the clean-out plug I'm talking about. There's probably carbon in that. Area. Yep, be careful. All right, now we're going to see if this cover will come off. There you go. That's a little bit better shot at it. Now, that hose, the coolant hose, goes through here into there, into the back of the water pump. All right, so we're almost there, folks. We're doing a good job. Uh and we'll put you on hold. Hopefully you learned a lot. We're at 14 minutes. All right, so we're almost ready to take it. I'll show you there's one T30, T30 down there on the shiny silver spot. There's two other ones over here. We're about ready to see the fan. So you got one right here, and you got one right here, T30. All right, and that makes all this thing come out. All right, but I got a ground strap over there I got to take off. Hi, guys. All right, hold on. I'll put you on pause. All right, folks, we pulled the whole converter inverter assembly 
with the air filter. That's the shroud. Remember there was a T30 bolt there. T30 right there with a shiny spot is some T30 there. Okay. And don't forget that you had earlier in the video, you had two T30s there holding the bracket. You had to go from underneath. Now there's your, there's your air filt um, fan, which we gotta do. You shut the door. There's a heater on in there. It's gonna heat the whole garage. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna take these bolts off and I get this fan. It looks pretty good shape. It's plastic. It's lasted 21 years. That's a Kubota three-cylinder diesel engine. And we're gonna go this. That's your stator. And then your rotors inside. Alright. Thank you. All right, folks, that's my helper, my grandson, Isaiah. Uh, he did a pretty good job today. He's learning about combination wrenches, right? And we, what, test, not guess? Test, not guess. That's right. All right, so we're going to call it an evening, and we're going to go have some fun with my grandkids. Uh, my granddaughter went out, and uh, she picked up some poop in the yard, got some money. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah don't like picking poop up. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but Jana made 25 bucks today. Mm -hmm. All right, I paid you 10 for helping me here. All right, so everybody gets a little piece of the pie. Um, remember, there's four ways to reach me. One is through the RV Diagnostic and Troubleshooting Facebook page. Make sure you put your jacket on before you go out. Uh, the second one is the YouTube channel, RV Diagnostics. Give me a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe. There's the cat. Yeah, they've seen him in another video. Matter of fact, this one. Um, the third one is the website where I do one-on-one -on -one with you. Okay, that means I'm looking at you, doing your work. It's very successful. There's a big write-up of a lot of people. They just love what it is. These people don't even know what a multimeter is, some of them, and now they're troubleshooting their RVs. The fourth one is the garage right here in Seaford, Delaware, 19973. How do you get me anywhere, anytime? Jeff at rvdiagnostics.com. That's right. So that's how you get a hold of me. Or you message me on Messenger, RV Diagnostics Facebook page, or just email me, or join the website, and you'll get my telephone number and we'll be able to help you. So, what's our motto? Test not guess. Test not guess. And this is a continuation oh. video on the 7.5 kilowatt generator. We'll be doing more disassembly later, but right now I'm gonna go have some fun with my grandbabies. Yeah. Bye. All right, All right. Get, you, get yourself out of there, go in there, get cleaned up, tell them you wanna okay. take a shower. All right, um, once again, thank you very much.